So now that you have your four or five service values defined, exactly what they are, now comes the next two steps. We're going to take, the, take those service values, the four or five, and prioritize them in order of importance. You're going to rank order them, service value number one, number two, number three, and number four. Now, why is that important? There are situations that we encounter every day where we have to make choices, where we have to choose what to do and how to do it. Unless the values are prioritized, then the decision-making criteria becomes very confusing. So let's take, for example, in our earlier example of maybe the highest service value at Disney is safety. The safety of the guest is number one, the number one concern above all else. So if the safety of a child is being compromised, the show stops, efficiency stops, courtesy may even have to stop in order to preserve and make sure that everyone is safe. That might apply to dentistry. Safety may be your highest value, that keeping a patient safe and making sure that everything is properly organized so that they'll have a safe experience, that may be your highest priority. Priority number two may be comfort. Sometimes does comfort have to be sacrificed for safety? Sometimes it does. Rank order those service values in order of their importance so that if you are making a service decision in the heat of the moment, what's your highest priority? Then after that, what's your second highest priority? And third and fourth, so that that becomes the criteria by which you make a decision. So, go ahead and prioritize those values and then take just a moment to write a short definition of what that value means. What does comfort really mean? What does safety really mean in a short one sentence definition that everyone can understand? So prioritize and define and then we'll come back for our final step number four. Good luck.